Hi there! Don't you think it's such a lovely day to learn how to use so and such? I'm so excited that I can't wait! We use both so and such to intensify adjectives, adverbs and nouns and to show extremes. But how do we do so? Let's take a quick look at the different uses and structures that can follow each of them. So is used before an adjective or an adverb, as in the university city of Cambridge is so charming. Some cyclists in Cambridge write so carelessly. Such, on the other hand, is used before a noun or noun phrase. Cambridge is such a charming city. However, you better watch out when you go for a walk, as there are such careless cyclists. When we use such directly with a noun, with no adjective, it's often a noun that shows our opinion. Some people call it a judgmental noun. Stephen Hawking, who graduated from Trinity College in Cambridge, is such a genius. Sacha Baron Cohen, who graduated from Christ's College, also in Cambridge, is such a character. We can use so adjective adverb that or such noun noun phrase that when we want to show there is a certain result. Punting along river cam is so awesome I've already done it six times and I'll do it again. Punting is such an iconic experience that I'd recommend anyone visiting Cambridge to do it. It is a must. Remember we can drop that when we use so and such in this way, as in Cambridge is so beautiful, my hubby immediately fell for it the first time he visited. We also use so before much, many, little and few, with or without a noun. That shows the amount is really a lot or really little. As you know, we use many and few with plural nouns and much and little with uncountable nouns. I bet you already know English breakfast is one of the best things about traveling to the UK. Well, last time we visited, I drank so much tea and my children, they had so many crumpets. On the other hand, things in the UK are so expensive that we spend so much. When we came back home, we had so little money left. We can use such before a lot or a lot of. There are such a lot of colleges to see in Cambridge, all of them so bewitching. Now let me show you some other uses of such, perhaps a bit more idiomatic. We can use such plus noun, meaning a certain type of or a kind of something, as in the corpus clock in Cambridge? I'd never seen such a clock before. I'd never seen that kind of clock before. We can use no such thing when we want to say that something doesn't exist, as in the story of the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? There is no such thing as a Gruffalo. We can use the structure noun as such to convey in the normal meaning of the word. We frequently use it in the negative, not mm, as such. For instance, We've got this not-so-healthy habit at home that on Saturdays we don't have dinner as such. We just eat some popcorn and snacks. So, before we shut up shop, let's stick to a little tradition and check how much you've learned so far. Today we'll do some rephrasing using so and such to express what Annie and Alan said in other words. My mom is so clever. I've got such a clever mom, and I'm so humble. It's the first time I see a superhero like this. Well done! I'd never seen such a superhero before. I don't believe you, Pinocchio. You're always telling lies. Yay, rockets! You such a liar! 
I have zillions of toys. They don't fit in the box. And he did it again. I got so many toys that they don't fit in the box anymore. Well, let's call it a day. That was it for so and such. I really hope this video helped you understand how to use them. So see you guys soon. I'm so looking forward to it.